TIAA is on a mission. Why? Because 54% of Black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So in collaboration with big name artists like Wyclef Jean, TIAA released Paper Right, new music inspiring a new financial future. With 100% of streaming sales going to a nonprofit that teaches students how to invest. Stream Paper Right now and help close the gap. Howdy, friends and floor heads. By the title of this podcast, you know what we're going to talk about. We're going to be talking about the USFO Tour. Now, to give you a little bit of history, uh, it's been about three years, four years now that uh, Ray Flynn and myself started Third Floor Wars. And we did it with really two main things that we wanted. One, we wanted to start putting out battle reports from Alifo. And we also wanted to, to come up with some sort of U.S. national event, right? We saw what was happening in the U.K., thought it was great what was happening in the UK, but knew we couldn't transport it directly over because the UK is much smaller than the United States. The United States is much larger from a population standpoint as well as a landmass side. So Ray and I spent a lot of time thinking about it. And what we ended up coming up with is the US FO tour. Uh, we did a beta of it. Then M3E got pre-announced ahead of schedule, which kind of shut down events. And so we put it on hold. Then we said, all right, let's uh, start up USFT. You know, everything's back. I'm three years out. We start it, start it in Nova of uh, that year. And then five months later, lockdowns begin and everything shuts down because of COVID. So put it on ice again. Well, since that's happened, um, a few things. Uh, obviously, if you're a floor head, you know a lot of this, but one, uh, Ray had to move on to do other things and uh, was no, has not been a part of Third Floor Wars for coming just over two years now. Uh, so this has been a one man show, uh, which I enjoy. I'm, that's not a complaint by my part. Uh, I, I love the podcast. I love putting it out on a, a pretty, pretty weekly basis, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Uh, obviously, I've also expanded what Third Floor Wars covers. We cover not only Malifaux, but we cover a lot of role playing game content as well as content about other games. Um, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do USFT because I already knew what it takes to do it and to do it well. And it's too important to me for me to try to half ass it. So that's the bad news uh, is I will not be doing the USFO tour. But there's good news. Let me introduce the good news. So I've got two friends on here with me. My first good buddy, Owen Best. Uh, you know Owen from the show. You know Owen uh, from Nova. You also know no, uh, Owen from the Capital City Crew podcast. Owen, it's good to have you on, man. Hey, glad to be here. Excited to be back on the third floor. <laughs> and then my second guest, Jeff Mansker, who was just recently on a uh, pool party. He's also been on the show before and a good buddy of mine. Jeff, it's good to have you, man. Hey, Craig. Thanks for having me. So who wants to say the good news? I think it should be Owen. All right. Well, the good news is that we will be taking on the mantle of running the U.S. Vo Tour. Uh, and we, me, Jeff, um, the whole crew at the Capital City Crew Podcast uh, will be organizing and taking everyone's event submissions uh, and really maintaining, owning, and then putting on a U.S. Masters event this year. September 1st at the Nova Open. So this was so natural um, because for those of you that know, I've always wanted Nova to be one of the centerpieces of the U.S. FO Tour. Um, even before Owen became an integral part of Nova, I've always loved that event. It's completely focused on miniature gaming and it's so well run. Uh, it's in an easy place to get to in D.C. Uh, and Obviously, for me, it was close, right? And I always used it, was planning on using Nova as the time to start uh, the U.S. Faux Tour. Uh, so when I thought about handing this over, I immediately went to Owen, uh, especially because Owen's involvement with uh, Nova has increased. Uh, so that's exciting, Owen. So we're going to have a Masters this year in September, and it's going to be at Nova. Um what about the start of the next season? Are the seasons still going to run from uh, basically like I like we had structured it uh, September to August? 
Yeah, that's that's the basic plan. Um, and we'll be we'll be working with events like right around that like cutover time to figure out like okay, we, what's the exact start and end date? Um, as those listening may not be aware that sometimes takes a little bit of time to calculate and tabulate the end of a season and let folks know that they need to travel, need to plan. Um, so there'll be some like little break there before the next season starts, much like with all your professional sports seasons and such. Um, so we'll be locking in the end of that uh, and the start of the next one um, and be announcing that soon. In a lot of ways, this is going to be better than what we had planned. And the reason it's going to be better is I knew in order for Masters to be viable, I had to have a second event at the same time, right? So you had to have the um, ability for somebody who's mediocre like Jeff to say, you know what, I may not qualify, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and buy my ticket to Masters. And even if I don't qualify, I'm going to have an event to play in. And Nova solves that problem, right? So you've got, there's Malifaux events all weekend and during the whole thing. And, you know, if you think you might have a chance, you know, you'll, you'll do masters now. Oh, and you may not know the answer to this. And if you don't just tell me, but one of the things that um, I did or was going to do was people that were physically there would potentially take spots at masters for no shows. Do you guys think that you'll fill masters the same way? Yeah, hundred um, percent. So we we will have in parallel some Nova events going, um, and then we will have Nova's uh, GT happening after the Masters, so folks can plan that. It'll count towards the next season, so you can kind of like bookend uh, your season in that way. But yes, like if you if you think you might be close but didn't quite make it like come anyway, because if any of those folks higher up the ladder are able to, you're in. It's great. And we're, even if you don't make it and play in the masters event, one, you can watch it, which is, you know, seeing the best players in the entire country play each other. That's going to be a learning experience. And two, there's just a shit ton of Malifaux happening, whether you play in masters or not. And quite frankly, even if you don't play Malifaux, going to Nova is awesome. Uh, it is it's just a great, great event for anybody who loves miniature gaming. Now, Jeff, it's my understanding that you guys have settled on what the first eligible event will be for 22. Uh, we have. And uh, oddly enough, uh, Owen Best and myself will also be attending, attending those event, even though uh, uh, we are now not eligible for Masters, unfortunately. Uh, uh, but that having been said, the first event will be Captain Con. Uh, that's going to be in the beginning of February up in what was it, Warwick, Rhode Island. Uh, and I've already talked to the gentlemen up there uh, that are putting it on. They are aware of this. Uh, so uh, we're looking to go full steam ahead. And uh, it, that's also a really nicely run event. Uh, and uh, that's just for this year uh, because it's a short, truncated uh, time schedule. Uh, next year, uh, for the start of Faux Tour, it will kick off with Nova and end with Nova as the book ends. Yeah, Captain Con's a great event. Uh, if you needed an excuse to go to Captain Con, this is a great one. You will not be disappointed. Year after year, it's always cited as one of the best run events uh, here in the country. Um, so obviously, there's a ton of questions for everybody that's listening. And I know, uh, Jeff and Owen, you guys are still kind of letting the ink dry a little bit, um, sorting things out. So for those that want to stay in touch, those that want to stay tuned, uh, it's my understanding that one, they should definitely follow the Capital City Crew Facebook page. And I'll have that linked in the show notes just below. And then, God bless you, are you not already subscribed to that podcast? Because you need to fix that too, because that's now going to be one of the, the sources, uh, definitely the official source of news about US Tour. So on your podcatcher, look for Capital City Crew, Malifo Podcast. It's phenomenal. And let's go ahead and sub that. Um, any other last comments, Jeff? Um, and when we talk about Nova, uh, I, I like that you touched on there are other events that are going on. Uh, even if you're not in Masters, coming around to watch Masters uh, is a learning experience in itself, watching some of these players play. And then in the evening on Friday and Saturday nights, uh, we will also be running a Henchman uh, Hardcore and a uh, 
uh, all out brawl uh, matches for both of those uh, with prize support. And then uh, once again, the grand tournament uh, on Saturday and Sunday as well uh, as the start of the next Nova. So uh, great events that are coming and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys out there. Awesome. Owen? Yeah. Well, I just want to say thank you to you, Craig. Honestly, like <laughs> you you created this whole concept. Oh, well, we don't right? thank Craig. <laughs> I'm like, come on. <laughs> uh, no, but really, like, like this, um, the vision for this is honestly what kicked off third floor words in a lot of ways so it's it's really an honor to be the ones to carry the torch on um and with luck we this will be the first of many us photo tour seasons to go um so you guys got to break the curse i, I need you to break the curse <laughs> i need this thing to happen because it's something i've been proud of for a long time and i know it's brought a lot of joy i mean when we were doing it before lockdown it really created a lot of hype and a lot of excitement. You know, people were looking at the rankings. Uh, we are we heard from TOs that it was causing them to have bigger events and more events. And um, honestly, there's two gentlemen I I, I wouldn't trust more uh, than you guys. So the, the, this is going to work out perfect. Uh, so again, make sure in the show notes below that you are already following these gents on uh, Facebook for the Capital City Crew Facebook. The link's just below. And make sure you're subbing the podcast as well. Uh, gents, thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, Craig. Even though this was a short episode, you sat and listened to the whole damn thing. So thank you to you. Take care. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to Tabletop Talk and share it with your friends. Check out our content on YouTube and Twitch. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and stay updated on everything coming from Third Floor. All the links are in the show notes. Take care, floorheads. <laughs>